most pressing issue for me is the continued attacks on education. Global warming. Closure of Aboriginal communities. The question of equality for women in terms of not just formal but real equality. The most pressing issue of today is economic exploitation. At the moment housing is like market driven, so one massive expansion of public housing. The reality that women are excluded from management positions, forced to stay home because that's just easier financially, there's no point going to work if all that money goes to childcare and all of those, those issues, so I think it's massive. I fear for those who are growing up behind them whether they're going to be going to have kids anymore because the planet's going downhill unless we change the government and the economy. We can't see the planet as an infinite resource and the way it's set up is that there's no equity in how the resources are distributed anyway. Those who don't have money and as a consequence don't have power have the least access to things like uh, clean water, food, medical assistance, education. Corporations exploiting legal tax loopholes and just marauding across borders unchecked and keeping money away from the taxes which after all fund schools, hospitals. To me we have to have socialist movements all over the world united in action to bring people together to change the world and take the power from the fossil fuel mafia that is just going to burn our planet and there'll be no future for any kids beyond my generation. It has to be a political change. It has to be a situation where capital and capitalism isn't the predominant political process. It has to be dealt with and that means getting rid of the capitalist system. What do we want? Broad collective democratic organising, not this sort of top-down bureaucratic organising. For us, we're just going to make sure that housing's are right for everyone. I think the first thing would be to make childcare free. Well, getting rid of Abbott, getting rid of uh, the ALP, but putting more money back into the public sector, making public the stuff that they're privatising. If you're going to live for something, you've got to live for something that matters and the future of our planet, the mother of all life, that matters. So I urge everyone, get involved in the revolutionary movement and do your thing, change the world. Yeah.